Hi, this is Amanda from craftsbyamanda.com. We're going to make a watering can that pours crystals. You're going to need some tools, some jewelry, wire cutters, and pliers will work great. Uh, we're going to use chandelier crystals, and you'll need a sharp knife and a large watering can and some floral wire. The first thing you're going to need to do is remove the sprinkler head from the watering can. We'll turn it over and uncrimp the edge of about half of it. You don't need to take the whole thing off. Use your sharp knife, be very careful, and use the point of the knife to carefully lift the crimped edge, and then use your pliers to also uh, lift the crimped edge. And please be careful, don't put too much pressure on the spout, as you could break the sprinkler head off. So remove about half of that, and the other piece should just slide right off of there. And then you can set your watering can aside until later. And we're going to add strands of the uh, crystals to the spout, uh, to the sprinkler head. And you want to make sure you're working on the correct side. So make sure that your strands are going to be hanging from the outside of that sprinkler head. You can use some floral wire, just nip it with your wire cutters there and thread that through the chandelier crystal, there should be holes in there. Then thread it right through one of the holes and thread the other half, the other end, through the hole as well so that both ends come out. Pull it through the back of the sprinkler head and that'll attach your strand, as you can see. And to secure that, just take a seed bead or a pony bead would work also. Thread it onto both pieces of the wire and then twist the wire and wrap it around your bead to secure it in place. And as you can see, that's how your strands will hang from your spout or from your sprinkler head. You can periodically hold up your can, just kind of place your sprinkler head back on the can and hold it up to see how it looks so you can decide how long you want them to be and how many strands you want to put on the sprinkler head. So the next step is to add a teardrop shaped crystal to the end. Again, use floral wire and twist it onto the end of your strand. And again, there's no real rule or anything for this. Just attach as many as you like until you're comfortable with it. You don't want to fill every hole or it'll be way too heavy. Now, as you can see right here, you have a crimped, the crimped edge that you uncrimped and the edge that you left alone. So the edge that you left alone, you're going to slide that back onto the watering can. Get that back on there. And then you'll use your pliers to recrimp the edge around the head of the watering can. And this will take some patience. It's going to be it's going to take a little while. This is the hardest part is getting this back on. So so be patient, take your time, do it in steps if you need to. And that's it. You got your once you get all your crystal strands on and you the sprinkler head back on you're you're ready to go you can hang it up find more tutorials on craftsbyamanda.com thanks for watching